Hey guys, welcome to another Worth It video. This is a series where I buy bundles on the Dying Light 2 store, try them out, test them, see if they're worth buying at all so that you don't have to. Before I continue with the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a like on this video and to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. But with that being said, let's get right into it. In today's Worth It video, we're going to be looking at the Dying Laugh Bundle. This is a Halloween themed bundle, and in this bundle you get the Dying Laugh weapon along with this blueprint, the Dying Laugh outfit, and the Dying Laugh Paraglider. I got this for free, but I think it's like $3 right now. So yeah, a pretty small bundle. Now starting with the outfit, this thing looks amazing. Like I love the design. Kind of reminds me of Joker or maybe Pennywise. Pennywise is more what I'd say this character looks like. But yeah, in terms of Halloween skins, this one is probably my favorite or probably a close second to the Scarecrow outfit. The design is simple, but also very nice. Like I love the jacket, I love the mask, just the color scheme of it. Like it just, it just screams out psycho. Up next we have the paraglider, which is absolutely amazing. This thing looks perfect. Like if you're ever making a scary kind of themed paraglider, this thing is what you would think of. A creepy face with some like very dirty, sharp teeth. Like I think they did well with the paraglider for this outfit. And for those of you curious, no, the paraglider unfortunately does not glow in the dark, but the outfit has glowing eyes, which looks really intimidating. Like, I love this little feature. So if you're taking some night picks, you'll get some very, very good ones. And lastly, we have the Dying Laugh Bat. In terms of damage, it doesn't really do a lot, but it does have four number of affixes, 500 durability, and has a built-in toxic effect. It's pretty fun to use, and the cool thing about it is that it also deals damage to armored enemies. Those of you who know that when you hit an armored enemy, sometimes your swing is kind of weak. But with this weapon being like a pole arm, you can swing at these guys without losing your momentum, without losing like that, that speed. So it is kind of good to use. And another cool thing about it is that when you craft this thing, you don't use batteries. But when you dismantle it, you have a chance to get batteries. Now for me, this is kind of a new thing. Like I didn't know you can actually do this with a lot of the weapons. But so far I've learned that there are quite a few weapons that also do this. So this is an easy way for you to farm batteries, which are a very rare resource to come by. Now that's it for the video. If you guys want the best Dying Light 2 playlist, check out this playlist right here. It's got everything you possibly need to either get better in Dying Light 2 or to have more fun. It's got glitches, exploits, best weapons, the best bundles, everything. But if you just want to check out other bundles, check out this playlist instead. On that, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.